What's up, y'all? Welcome to Interactive Game Day here at Heavy Cardboard Teach, Play, and Discuss. Well, thank you, filler. Apparently that, that rubs some of y'all the wrong way, but that's exactly what it is. It's filler, a, i.e. a game in which you're not going to go to game day specifically to play. Right. And it's thinky, meaning there's meaningful decisions and copious amounts of meaningful decisions. You have to think I, about it. Right. I, not just roll a die and... and just mindless yeah. shoots and ladders stuff. I don't think it rubs people the wrong way. They're just like, uh, is it apropos? That's all. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> welcome everybody watching live around the world as well as after the fact. I am your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by that one. Hi, J-Rex Jess. All right. <laughs> Apparently uh, single-handedly um, took over Rado's show and now is the biggest YouTube star in the board game industry. Yeah, that's it. That's totally what happened. If y'all haven't seen it, go check it out over on Rado's channel, Top 10 Heavy Games. There's a really, really good discourse between Jess and Rado. Anyway, it's not what we're here for today. Or is it? Is that what we're here for? No. No? Okay. All right, fine. We're here for a super skill pinball 4 k not 3 k 5 would be excessive, 4 k Designed by Jeff Engelstein, published by WizKids. We got a print and play of it, just like hopefully y'all have a print and play of it. Although I went an extra step today, an hour ago, I went and got mine laminated. I have a laminator somewhere in the library. I have no idea where it is right now. I know now. where it is. Huh? I know where it is. <laughs> you could just ask. Anyway, I laminated. <laughs> so you guys are gonna need the sheet down below. So if you want to play along, print that off right now. You'll have a little bit of time. You need either a pencil, something that can be erased, or a dry erase marker if it's laminated. If it's not a laminated, guess what? It won't erase. Just, just Are you sure? You could try. <laughs> nope, uh, won't erase. All right. You didn't try multiple options. There's no Windex, I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, you need a couple of uh, stones or a couple of coins to represent the pinballs because multi-ball you might have as many as two of those <laughs> you need a couple of stones <laughs> glass stones glass beads <laughs> it's been a day last, last 48 hours has been eventful here it's uh, gonna be fun today <laughs> hmm. we laugh the humor of so a 12 year old cry. boy sorry yeah, I, <laughs> I was aware. I was just trying to <laughs> keep gloss going. You're just going to keep going. And then Woo! I'm going to roll collectively for everybody. All right. So, uh, yeah. All right. It's, uh, yeah. All right. We so, want it to be interactive. This is much more interactive. If you have the stones to be interactive. <laughs> She's a terrible influence on me, y'all. <laughs> terrible. Uh, I'm trying, Ezran. I'm trying. Whew. Breathe, breathe. Notice Kia Starbucks. Do you see? London Fog Latte. Nice. And it's delicious. Would you like a sip? No, no, no. I'm just, well, I'm just I, looking I, for my own um, Starbucks. It's no. Probably because somebody didn't hear from. Me. Uh, <laughs> you see that look off the left? I'm a kill him. I'm a kill him dead. I'm a kill him dead. All right, seriously. Mm. It should be a good time uh, today. We did this last week, but we did it with the Carnival map, and this is the other one that is available as a print and play. So we thought, you know what? This is definitely a step up uh, from, uh, from the Carnival. But I mean, it's still thinky filler, so this isn't, you know, Bios Megafauna. But at no. the same time, there is definitely more on this map than there was on last week's, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think you well, guys are Well, that's the thing. I think you have to show this, the difference, because otherwise you might think, and I think we had some comments last week, that, oh, okay, but I could see it getting old. And I think this is what they need to see to see to make that decision of 
doesn't ramp up these four yeah. different tables. Apparently there's four boards yeah. in the game. There's two available for the print and play. Yeah. And <clears throat> this is, I guess, step two. Yeah. In like I can't imagine in three the complexity. And four, but okay. <laughs> Apparently Dragon Slayer, which is the fourth one, yeah. it's like a mini RPG in Jeez. it. So so there you go. I mean right. Jeff Engelstein, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So anyway, if y'all are ready, I'm ready. Are you ready? I think Stones so. Stones Girl, you ready? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Now all I have is sympathy for the devil stuck in my head. See, I'm trying to bring it around a different direction. Is it working? Nope. nope. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. So here we go with Super Skill Pinball 4K. All right. So there you go. That's, that's it. Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's play. Play. All right. So, I'm going to use my handy dandy little dry erase marker from uh, Dollar General, Dollar Store, do Dollar, Dollar General, I think And you went to the Dollar town. Store? Anyway, here we go. So, down here in the bottom right, you have three ball or three round markers, I should say, okay? So, round one, we will start off, we will actually X off round one to show that we are in, wait for it, round one. Easy enough. At the end of round one, you'll mark off two, there you, so on and so forth. Then whether it's a coin or a stone or a gem mm -hmm. or some other sort laugh. of thing here that set, represents your coin, it's going or represents your the ball, the pinball, you're actually going to use it up here in the start area. Now, I will break this down in detail and teach this actual board in depth here in a minute, but let's go over kind of a high level what it is we're trying to do. The goal of the game is to get the most stars or points available. Now, there's this 600 marker right here, which I think is somewhat comical, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, there you go. So 600, we'll be erasing these as we hit 100, erase them when we, as we hit 200, so on and so forth, all right? So as we play, we're going to have our ball up here, and it's going to, just like a pinball machine, gravity-fed, it's going to do some stuff, and then it's going to continue to move down our board until it hits our flippers, or it, we lose the ball, and possibly that will be the end of the round. Hopefully it hits our flippers, it then flips back up, rinse and repeat, we'll be doing a whole bunch of things as the game goes along, all right? So we're gonna, the first thing that's going to happen, this is not, this is just an example, is I'm gonna roll the dice over here, and then you're going to choose one die per ball that you have on the board. At the beginning of the game, all of us is only going to have one, but it is possible that we get a multi-ball as the game goes along to where we'll have two balls out on the board. If you do, then one die to each ball and you choose which one applies to which. You can only apply one die to each ball. You cannot apply, for instance, the four to both, but once you've assigned it to one of them, you can only assign the other to the other. So after we have rolled the dice, then you need to uh, move your ball or your token. Now, you have a choice. You either move down into the next lower zone. So in other words, we start up here at the top. So we pull the plunger back, it flicks our ball up and it comes out and here we go. We're going to mark off one of the things here. If we cannot or choose not to, mark it off at the top row, you'll notice that this board is divided into four zones. One, two, three, and then four zone, down, the fourth zone down here. So up here at the top, you can mark off one of the things according to the various dice out here. I'll go over this in detail in a minute. Or you could choose not to and just have it come down here and mark off one down here. If you can, you may, or you may choose not to, continue to move it down and mark off something down there, all the way down to the flipper. But if ever you cannot or choose not to down here in the flipper zone, it then goes out behind your, you know, under your flipper and you lose that ball. Easy enough, all right? So every, most every time that we mark something off here, it's going to give us some amount of stars, which are victory points here. We're going to continue doing this cycle of uh, rolling the dice, choosing a die per ball, marking something off, hopefully scoring some points, doing some other additional things until it gets down to the flipper, flipping it back up, rinse and repeat until we've gone through a total of three turns. Okay, easy enough there. All right, so now, 
how do we actually play Cyberhack? Well, I'm really, really glad that you asked that, said me. So here we go. The beginning of the game, as well as whenever you start a new turn, you're going to have the ball up here at the start area. So basically where that little red arrow is up there. I'm going to roll the dice and let's say there's our dice, choose the two or the three. When it comes out, we are now up here at the, uh, at the alley zone is what I'm going to call it. You'll notice that there is a part of the board right here. So in other words, our ball is going to come down through one of the three alleys right there. With it being a two or three, you can mark off either this box here for the two or this box here for the three. It is entirely your choice, but once something is already marked off, obviously you cannot mark it off again until it has been reset. More on that in a little bit. So let's say for argument's sake, I choose say the two, boom, done there. Okay, all right. So with the alleys, when you fill in all three of the boxes, it allows you to circle a skill shot number, which are going to be these numbers over here, okay? So once I have, so let's say on this turn, I marked off that, the ball comes down, it flings back up, more on that in detail, and then let's say, there we go, I roll double fives, well, I only have the choice for the five, I mark that off, the ball falls down, it comes back up, and then eventually it comes over to where it marks off a three, boom, done, I have marked off all three of those. So you put the ball wherever it is, whatever you marked off, then you can mark off or circle one of the skill shots. What a skill shot is, in this case, just like in last week's game, oh, I realized you guys can't see that. Let's try that, there we go. The skill shots here, when all of three of those are full, you can mark off one of these. What that symbolizes then is, let's say I rolled here that five and three, but I had marked off the six previously when I had done that. Well, I fill these there, I mark that off, then once that happens, I then erase these three and it resets, just like in a pinball game, right? Whenever you fill something, it's going to reset it and to where it's empty. Well, what this six now represents is it's a wild number. So let's say I rolled a five and a three going into my next turn and I don't want that five and a three. I really, really want to use that six. I can do so. When I do so, I erase that six because it's now been used, and then I treat whatever that die was as a six for one of the balls. Okay, easy enough. That makes sense? I hope so. Does that make sense to yes. you? Yes. All right, so that's a skill shot, and that's what happens when you fill up all three of these alleys. Now note that I did not say that you're going to get any stars right here, okay? Because you don't get any stars for the alleys here. So after we have marked off one of these from a roll, I'm going to then roll again for everybody, and then that's what we ended up rolling. So at that point, I can then, I have three choices. I can either assign the ball the five and the th or the three, or I could do neither and drop it down to the lower zone, okay? All right, so in this case, let's say I choose to use the five. Well, I move the ball down here and I mark off one of the fives like so, and I have the ball over here on this bumper, okay? That's the end of my turn. Now, whenever you do this, okay, you're going to get a star for whenever you hit one of those bumpers. So, let's go ahead and move it back up here, and what would happen is I would mark off one of those stars. Hey, I'm on the board, I have a point. Boom, done, easy enough. That's the end of that turn. Okay, then we roll the dice again, and we roll a six and a two. All right, the ball is currently on this bumper. It cannot stay on that bumper, because just like in a regular pinball machine, what's it do? Bing, 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 bing. Bing, 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 bing. One job, just <laughs> one job. So, for it to be able to Bing, 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 bing. It can't do it on the same bumper, obviously, right? It's gotta go between bumpers to make that sound, right? Yeah. So the six, I cannot stay on this bumper where I am right now, it must move. Well, you notice that there are two different colors of arrows there. 
in the game, you may only use the purple arrows to move clockwise. So in this case, I would have need to, needed to, to have rolled a three or a four to keep this up to be able to bing, 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 bing. over here to this bumper. And then I would mark one of these off and then I would score a point, et cetera, et cetera. But I can't use the six and the two goes with the white arrow. Well, we can't use the white arrow except in one instance. And unless, when, we, when I get there, I'll explain it. But for the general rule, purple arrows only. So in other words, that six and two, I cannot use. So what happens? The ball moves down. So we're going to continue moving down here either because we cannot or we choose not to use it, a die up there. So now I have my six and two down in this zone here. And this zone is going to be called the target zone. So down here, there are two sets of drop targets. You guys know pinball, right? Whenever you're, you're, you hit the ball and it hits one of these, it knocks it down, whatever. And then you get a bonus whenever you knock down all, all of one set, et cetera, et cetera. Same thing applies here. You can choose to knock down either one of the yellow hacker sides or one of the, uh, the red back door sides here if you choose, up to you. So I rolled a two and a six, so I can either mark off the HA here for the hacker side or the ER for the hacker side, or the BA, or the OR. And when I do so, you'll notice that there's a little star there. So again, I would mark off a star up here for whatever one I chose to go ahead and knock down, and then that's unavailable. When you have knocked down all of one color, you're then going to activate a bonus, whether it's the hacker bonus for the yellow side or the back door bonus for the red side. I will cover what these do specifically here in a little bit after I explain the lower zone over here. Just know that all of these double box areas can only be activated once the entire game. So once you have activated, say, this erase cache spot, you can never activate that one again. It will permanently stay X'd out. Make sense? Yes. The exception to that is the ones that have the infinity symbol. Those can, you don't mark off. You just boop, okay, I'll get two points. Or boop, I'll get three points. And you just do it every time that you knock down the entire set. And I do want to specify that whenever you knock down all of these of one color, you get your bonus and then you erase those so that they can then be reactivated again on a subsequent They turn pop back up. They do. All right, any questions on that? Good, moving on. Down here, once we have activated one of those, so okay, we'll roll again there, and we roll a four or a five. Well, we come down to the flipper zone down here. You'll note that the outer alleys are bad because you lose your ball, right? It goes just like in pinball, it goes away. So if I used a one or a six per filled yellow flipper box, I will have scored two stars. So, filled boxes for the yellow flipper. I will have scored two points, but I lose that ball. Mm -hmm. Same goes over here for the red side. Okay, easy enough. So, we don't want to use those until we absolutely have to, right? Sure. So, in this case, we have a five or a four. I could choose to mark off this one big box for the red flipper with the five and a four, or I could mark off that one small box for the four, or I could mark off the five for the inner uh, alley here, and I would score two points. But once something is marked off, that's it, you can't use it until it gets erased. You'll note that these have dotted lines next to them or surrounding the boxes. What that means is at the end of a round, when you have lost all of the balls on that one round, you then erase everything with dotted lines and then it'll be reset for the next ball. That makes sense, it right? It does. Okay. Yeah. So let's say I choose here to go ahead and mark off that four right there. That means that ball is now on the yellow flipper. Pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna go ahead and roll again, and I rolled a one and a one. So my options here now, going back at the, looking at the full screen here, you'll notice that my option is only has to do with yellow items. So in other words, the hacker ones here, or you'll notice this up here, up here to this run area. I can go to that. I'll talk about that more in detail in a minute. 
or I can go here to the bumper zone. All that makes sense, right? Why? Yeah. Because it's color coded. Yellow, 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 yellow. Excellent. If it had been on the red flipper, red, red up this way and up here to the alleys or the bumper zone. Okay. But as it is, I'm on the yellow flipper zone. Easy enough. I can go up and I can choose to go ahead and mark off the one here on the hacker. And if it knocked all three of those down, you know, because that's the third one, I would get a bonus, yada, yada, yada. But then on the next roll, it would fall back down to the flipper zone, et cetera, et cetera. Rinse and repeat, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. That's the basics of this board. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So now that we have covered that stuff, let's go ahead and talk about this board a little bit more in detail. Okay. So. I think the alleys, I've already explained pretty well, when all three of those get marked off, you get a skill shot, which is a one time, oh, I don't like the die roll, I'm going to use this number instead for one of the dice. Easy enough. Then you erase that number, and then if you have a six or a five already, you know, uh, ready to be used, and you actually fill all three alleys without using that, you can fill another one. So that's cool. So now you have more options until you use an individual one. You erase that one individual one, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. The bumpers I mostly covered, but there's a little bit of a catch now or a little bit of a difference here on this map. What that is, is you'll see that each bumper has four individual uh, times it can be hit, right? With those specific numbers. Well, up here it says you get what I'm going to call a lightning bolt here, which is a, uh, let me get the exact name of this, that is a hack symbol. The little lightning bolt is a hack. When you fill up one entire bumper, you get a hack. What is a hack? Well, if we take a look down here, you'll note that there are hacks right here. So you fill in a hack every time you fill in a bumper. Okay? Yes. However, what you do not do is you don't erase the bumper until all 12 are filled in. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. I'll explain what a hack is for here in a little bit. Okay. All right. So now I think we can go ahead and go ahead and talk about now what these are. So the various bonuses, two points, obviously, erase, run. Run is these up here. So these, you'll notice, have, do uh, have dotted lines on them as well, okay? So I guess, actually, we probably ought to talk about run before we talk about anything else over there. So run, these are kind of like mini bumpers. So these bumpers here and these bumpers here are somewhat similar, but you'll notice that these are only yellow. So they can only come off of the yellow bumper coming on up that way. So... They work just like regular bumpers, except you can always move both directions. But you notice that it only has one mark off spot on each one. Right. Okay. All right. If all three boxes are filled, you now start the run mini game. Mm -hmm. So the run mini game now is kind of, I mean, this is cyber hacking, right? After all. And what that has to do with this stuff over here. So we're going to start a little mini game. Now, if you can't move to a new run uh, mini bumper, it then falls out over here into the bumper zone. Follow the arrow. So, okay, there, boom, and then I move down here. If I can't then move via those, easy enough. Sure. Okay, all right. All right, easy enough. All right, so starting a run. Let's go ahead and talk about that. That is the mini game that is in this one. If you fill all three of these, this mini game now activates like what happens in a lot of pinball machines. Your goal is to hack into the corporation's data to score as many points as you can before you're found out. All right, so while your run is in progress though, your ball token remains in the mini run area. So whatever one activated it, because you now have marked off all three of those, your ball stays there, okay? Then you share the same dice rolls as everybody else, just like normal, except you're not going to be moving your token over here and you are not allowed to use skill shots or nudges, which we haven't talked about yet, okay? As we roll dice, there, that's probably a bad example. 
Let's say, there we go, that's our roll, okay? What's going to happen now is the cumulative of those two dice, you're gonna mark off that many blue stars over here. So I would mark off seven blue stars. Then, the difference between those two dice is the trace number over here. So in this example, I would fill in all five of those, I can't draw a straight line to save my life, and I would mark off two traces. And that's it, that's all I would do on that turn for that die roll. Then when everyone's ready, okay, we're gonna roll again, and there we go. So in this case, I would get 12, so I would mark off three, eight, 12, and the difference is zero, that's awesome. Now, why am I doing all of this, right? Because at any point, you, there are three ways to end a run, either by crashing, by escaping, or by overriding. Crashing means if the last spot on the trace box gets marked off, the corporation found out, and you lose any points that you may have gained during that hack, during that run. Okay, so basically erase all of this, erase all of this, and it just never happens. Wah, wah, wah. The other ways it can end is on an escape. After each roll, you can decide before marking things off to end the run. So let's say it had been like this and I had marked, uh, let's say that and that, all of those are marked off, and I had already gotten all those. So now that was the end re result, that was the roll. So a seven would let me fill up two more lines there, up through the 15, but you'll notice that the difference there is five and one, two, three, four, wah, wah, that's bad. Well, that would cause me to crash and I would lose all of these points. So before I choose to use those, I say, you know what, I'm gonna escape. If you do so, you score the number of stars equal to the most filled line. So I would score nine points. So I would then mark nine points up here at the top, up there. Easy enough? Mm -hmm. All right, boom, done. Or the other option to get out of a run, to end a run is an override. Make it to the end here without making it to the end there. If so, you get 100 points. Wow. Because I'm pretty sure nine isn't nearly as good as 100. But it's a risk. But you might be asking yourself, self, that seems really, really difficult. Well, it is. But remember those hacks? And how did we get those hacks? We got those hacks from whenever we fill one of these bumpers, we get to mark in a hack. Well, what a hack is going to do for us is you're going to allow, or it will allow you, you can erase one hack that you have filled in to basically ignore a roll. Skip that roll. Yep. Not skip part of the roll or that part of the roll, skip the entire roll. Entire thing. I opt not to do anything right now. There you go. But then when you do so, you remove a hack. If you have multiple hacks, you can do that multiple times on a given run. Mm -hmm. You keep hacks until you use them. Then once the run's over, you're gonna erase all the trace, you're gonna erase all the run, and then on the next, ru on the next roll, your ball will fall out and come on over here. Mm -hmm. Easy enough. That's the run. Any questions on that? And just to be clear, you're making that decision after the roll, but before you mark it. Got it. All right. So there are two last things, uh, three last things that I need to cover before we get started here. All right. So the first thing that I need to cover is, and I think it'd be a little bit easier to see here. If the ball comes up off the red flipper up here along the, uh, along the cash spinner over here, the ball will never stop when it comes through here. What will happen is, let's say that's the roll, it's coming off the red flipper, and that's it. I can either choose to use the six or the four. Well, when I do so, it's going to come out here, so I'm either gonna mark off the six or the four here, or the six or the four here, or it's going to continue falling down to the six or the four there, so on and so forth, right? However, whichever die I don't use, I get to mark off on the cache. So if I choose to use the six to be able to do this, 
That means then I can mark off the four here and I will immediately score the four points on that. Does that make sense? Yeah. That are there in the star. But once you've already marked off a number, you cannot mark off that number again until when? You filled up all of them and it resets. Okay. Easy enough? All right, good. The penultimate thing that we need to talk about now are the specific bonuses. So, two points, easy enough. Erase run and gang two hacks. Erase run, what does that mean? Remember, being able to erase those and reset them. The only way to do so is at the beginning of a turn or if you do this, which is erase run. At no point did I say when you fill these, it resets. It only resets when you either get this or a brand new round because it has the dotted lines. Does that make sense? Brand new round because you, your ball you lost exited your ball. the table. Right. Right. All right. Flip or pass, okay, until the end of the round. What's that mean? That means red and yellow can be hit with red and yellow. It doesn't matter. So off the red flipper, we can hit the yellow targets, et cetera, et cetera. You can do everything that on either from either flipper. Okay. Uh, until the end of a round. That's pretty clear. The next one says, next run, you get double the stars. So whenever you do a run, you're going to get double whatever you would have gained nice. whenever you choose to either escape or override. Then the next cash, you get triple. Ooh. Okay. So this one says that... Uh, if you move through the cash and can fill in a box, you or fill in a box, you must. So you can't. Eh, it's not worth enough points. I'm gonna not use it. No, no, you must use it because it says next cash. Notice it's bolded. Same with next run. You must use it, no matter what, if it's possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's those. Then over here on the red side, on the back door side, bumpers are worth double stars. Okay, in addition, the, uh, now, now finally, you can use the white arrow to go the other direction instead of clockwise. Okay, cool. All right. The outline, the outlines here are worth four stars instead of two right here. Notice yep, there. Yeah, doubled. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, per flipper uh, box instead of, and that lasts until the end of the round. Erase the cash. What's the cash again? The cash is this guy, so you can, you know, hit the big point ones, not fill in the others, and then erase it early if you want. Or the last one is get three hacks. Well, the last one, I guess, technically is three points, but yeah, get three hacks. There you go. The, that's it. The last thing that I need to cover here is the nudge. If you're a pinball aficionado, you know that you can throw your hip into the machine or just kind of wiggle the machine to try and nudge the machine to where you want to use it or do it for where you want the ball to go. And maybe the ball's about to fall off over here. You bump it to where it actually moves over, right? Well, what a nudge does is, let's say I don't like, that's the roll, I don't like that. And I say, you know what, I'm going to take that three and I'm gonna make it a five because I really, really want it to be a five for whatever reason and I don't have any of the uh, skill shots there. So what happens in that case? Well, I only get three nudges per game. I would mark one off and then I choose one of the dice to use and I turn it to that number, you know, virtually. So it- You use it as that number, yeah. There you go. So turning a three to a five, the difference is two. Why does that matter? Well, I would do the five, I, I would do whatever it is, why I wanted to use that as a five to begin with. And then on the next roll, as long as that, the difference between the two dice is that number or lower, I'm sorry, that number or higher, right? Yeah, that number or higher, you're safe. Yes. So in other words, if it had been that, that's bad because the you difference tilt. between five and four is one, which is lower than that number. You tilt, what happens? Wah, 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 yeah. end of the round for you. But if it were anything else, the difference there is three, you're safe. You would then erase that number, but you keep the nudge and it was a successful nudge. Yeah. If ever there are doubles, 
What's the difference between those? Zero. So in other words, if you nudged, you're going to... Automatic tilt. tilt. There you go. And that, folks, is how you play Cyberhack. Hack. We do it over the course of three rounds, and collectively, whoever has the most points wins. Any questions? The only thing is, um, you were pointing to these as the outline. A outline. It's the one and the six that are the outlines. Thanks. Okay. My bad. I think no, I, that's okay. I think you right. were just looking at it quickly, but yeah, those are the outlines, one and six. All right. Because they everything. go out. That makes sense. I think I'm mostly erased now. There we go. Just, All right. Just a couple spare points for you. That's fine. Uh, also, uh, you know what I just realized? What? There's no multi-ball in this game. There is no multi-ball in so, this game. So, uh, you see this one? Don't no, need it. It goes away. All right, cool. So, it's one ball. All right. So, we're going to go up there. If everybody is ready, hopefully I gave you guys enough time to go ahead and print off your own copies. Uh, uh, um, Jess is engaged, clearly. <laughs> I'm just stretching. I'm just stretching. Can hey, what's you up, gotta girl? stretch there before go. you play pinball. So, stretch, stretch. There we go. All right. Ooh. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You good? Hold yeah. on. You stretching? Stretch. Oh. Oh. I need like one of those roller really things stretch. that Facebook tells me I need. You know, okay. the things you lay down and roll. All right. Um, Y'all ready? There we go. Even more tables are in the works for this Kabuki Kid ass. Jeff says, I've been yes. working on new tables. Not going to commit yet. All right. Doop -doop. So if you want more tables, buy the game. That's the moral yeah. of the story. That's what I got. <laughs> no multi-ball on this map. Not on this map. There is one in the other map. But. All right. Here we go. I so, can't get it open. <laughs> oh, you're saying you need me? <laughs> I have teeth. Oh, car. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to come flinging all over me. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to work. So Please. you need me? Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> that was embarrassingly easy for you. <laughs> okay. I'm 6'2", 220. Mm -hmm. You're 5'3", a buck 10. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Smart man. Mm. See? See what I did there? Smart man. You made Take me shorter. Notes. You made me shorter by an inch. 5'4", 110. I... I <laughs> <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished. All right, All right here we go. So everyone's starting up top. You got a five and a one. Remember, you do not have to mark these off. It probably behooves you to do so. You can always drop down to a lower level if you wish. But I'm going to go ahead and go there. Boom, done. J-Rex, you're up. Oh, I have to pick. It doesn't. Over, under on elbow collisions, we're already at like 36. So really, really big number. Oh, Jurassic Park would be amazing. So, Jeff, um, I realize you're probably not going to license it, but you could make a dino one, I'm just saying. Maybe an elephant theme one? I'm just... Throwing that out there? Just just going to... Throwing that out there. That was a terrible... That was thing. really bad. But, so, every time we play this, you're going to have to make a terrible animal impersonation, because last time it was well, a I dolphin. Did, well, I did now. What? Oh, Flipper? Ah! All right, Stones Girl, here we go. All right. Six or a five, y'all. And don't forget to mark your points when you make it down to the bumper zone. It's just one, right? Douche, that's far. There we go. I think we could probably go at a reasonable pace here early on because there's Thanks, not Miguel. a lot of decisions. Um, See, Jeff, I'm just saying. As worn, yes, you tilt the okay. table. Okay. All right. So how do you tilt the table? Um, you, you lift the 350-pound table with your knees like that? Yeah. Oh, is that not what you meant? I'm sorry. All right. Hey, Jeff, can we talk about that? <laughs> T-Rex versus elephant? I'll pay. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Can we, do, can we do that? Hey, Zev's here. All right. There we go. All right. Zev, take note. All right, here we go. Six or a one. Um, that so didn't help out. I'm going to explain um, why I can't use those. So I can't same. use the We're six the same to stay spot, here. Yeah. And I cannot use the one there because it goes against the, the white arrow or the clear arrow, white arrow, whatever. And I don't have the, uh, uh, the flipper. Uh, I'm sorry, the bumpers. One marked off. That's not active. So therefore, it has to drop down to a lower zone. So a six and a one. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and mark off that. 
there, and that'll be a one. And I just realized there's so much red on this board. I'm actually going to use black. I think that's easier for y'all to see there. So I got two stars, and there's that. So there and there. All right, cool. Good? All right. I thought he was being sarcastic, my bad. Uh, right. Hasborn, you're so often sarcastic. <laughs> Apologies for that. All right, so here we go, moving on. Thank you, Zub. Six or five. Well, all right. Mm, well. I think... I will uh, go there. That will go there. Points. For, oh, oh, you didn't yep, get any. Yep. Okay. All right. Elephant trunk is a ramp. I'm just saying, man, it's 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 there, right? Or the he's down buying the, in. He's, we got or the in. back of the T Rex, right? Is the other slide? I'm just it, it, it's there. Yeah. It's there. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's the pacing? Let us know if we're going yeah. too fast. Well, you can slow Oh my goodness! It Don't worry, we can down. talk more. I think we got that down. I mean, I bought the compressor for you. Okay, so we have a <laughs> good choice here. Uh, I, four would you and choose four. the four or the four? Well, I will choose that four, and that'll be worth four points. Four goes up here, and that's the whole box I'm marking off. And then the four. Oh, I don't is like there. this. Oof. So, just to be clear, note. I came up this way, I marked off the four points there for the four that I didn't use, and then I used the other die that I did that I hadn't used over here as the four, and now my ball is actually there in the uh, alleyways. Okay? That makes sense? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and roll again. Six and a four. Yay. Um. No points left yet, but look at that. I, I got a U and an N. Up here and run. Because those are both, right? Yeah. I'm just making sure yep, they're not cheating. they are. Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoyed the uh, podcast, Vincent. Thanks. All right. So now what I'm hoping for is a one or a two to be able to hit the uh, bing, bing, bing. I want a one and a two as well to be able to hit the R. Well, there you go. Start a run. One, and a, one or a two it is. Yes. This is awesome. And you got yours. All right. So I marked this off. And now this... We'll stay there. It stays in the middle, right? But, but now your your mini game is only this stuff. Now note you have no hacks, okay? Okay. So, all right. So mine is actually up here. I'm hoping for a five or a six now. That would be great. All right. Like I said, how's the pacing for you guys? You guys doing all right for decision time here? Let's go ahead and move on. Well, all right. I'll, I'll do mine first because mine's going to be easy. So it's going to be the six there and that. We're up to nine points. I'm just going to go ahead and. There we go. All right. So, so now. Ten, right? You are correct. And then the difference is two. There you go. You really want me rolling high and, and close. close. <laughs> high and tight. High and tight. Let's is do this. A, is that. Hmm, nope, not going to go there. It's like a Marine's haircut, hair, high and tight. High and tight. Right? Or yeah. pitch, right underneath the chin. Or, okay, all right. Which T-Rex would be Don't sad. try to run too early. You want to get some hat. Oh, uh, did, did, did. Zev, obviously, you know Jess. But Do you know how I push my leg? Exactly. I was going to say, you don't know her that well, that. No. <laughs> Rocky. Trying, watching the T-Rex trying to play pinball. Yes. You can see my laptop. It has all these dino stickers. And my favorite one is it's uh, a dino with his tiny little arms. Or a T-Rex with tiny little arms. And he's got those extender grabber things. And then it says, I'm unstoppable. Because he finally can <laughs> reach. 
It's like you in real life. <laughs> when I have grabbers. Right. She can reach tall things. That's going to be totally me. I'm going to be the old lady that goes to like the grocery store and, and brings like the portable stepladder and like the little grabber and I'll just like have it in my cart and then when I need things, put it down, reach, grab. Yeah, that's, that's going to be me. Industrious. I can't wait till I. I guess I'm not in the picture, y'all. <laughs> I just want to bring it to do it, just so everybody's like watching me and being like, "What is she doing?" <laughs> All right, here we go. Yes. You're welcome, Jess. Uh, I I forgot to ask what I needed. I needed a three or a four, so I will go. Well, five and a six is already marked off there. That sucks. So I guess I'm gonna go there and get a point. Wow. <laughs> Christopher. Are you allowed to use spots already filled in for no points, but to prevent the ball from dropping? No, Max. You either, you must mark something off. So the ball is going to impact something and mark something off. So I apologize for not making that clear. All right. Robot assistant, fetch it for you. I mean, I've been called a lot of things, Kabuki Kid. <laughs> and you're getting replaced by robots now. I mean, I have been told I have a like an ever-ready battery. I never stop. So there's that. But, uh, yeah. All right. So, you ready to move on? Uh-huh. All right. Here we go. That was bad. All right. That's better. A one or a four. So, wait. So, I am deciding whether I escape... Here, right? Well, like, no, you might as well. There's no risk. No, no, to no. Do I'm going to do that because that's what I'm trying to point out. Yes. So, Sorry. slow down. So, what I'm saying is, since I get to decide the escape after seeing the die roll, there's no risk. I might as well take this because next time, if I if there's like a five difference, I can escape. Yep. So, that's four, five. I'm going to mark that three. off as the four. Come on down to the red flipper. All right. Oh, by the way, um, everyone should have marked off their first ball or their first round. Right, because we're in round there. one. Okay, right there. All right, so here we go. Aww. Four and a one. Something to be said for consistency. That sucks, because my four is already marked off. I One star, and it doesn't help me over here. Yeah. But you know what? I might as well. So I'll go ahead and use. Oh, oh, hold on. So if I use the one here, that gets me one point. But then I have to use the four. I can't use it there, so it's going to fall down. And I have to use the four here, which is going to fill in one more right there. So. I just don't know how you're ever going to hit this. Because if you get to decide before, then you would just decide to leave. Are you sure that you decide to escape? Okay, so just to be clear, the crash. Escape uh, is the question. Okay, escape. After each roll, you may decide to end the run. If you do, score stars equal to the... Yeah, so it's after the roll. Okay, that's fine. If the bottom box of the trace is filled in, you've been discovered, and you... Oh, I see what you're saying. After you I start take run, the roll or after you roll? Yeah. I would say you have to decide before the roll. I think that's, that's what not I was thinking, yeah, but that's, that's not what we've been doing. So that's a good point. I think that makes it much more interesting. So I think it's after you've assigned the roll, you have to decide to escape. Uh, yeah, I, I would argue that would be better verbiage of that, yes. Okay, so that means I want to escape. Okay. Because there's no point in me pushing my luck at this point. So I take the seven. Yep. All right, have a good one, Ashby Orin. Let us know in Slack what, or, the, or post your score down below afterwards. All That's right? the seven, and I leave, so... So all of that gets erased. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you actually brought that up. And note, these do not now erase. 
Unless no. she has the one that, uh, which one is it? The uh, erase run or at the beginning of the next turn, uh -huh. right? Okay. So now let's see. So as long as the difference was one or less, you would have been okay. Let's see. I'm not worried. Yep. See. There yeah. you go. You would have. Uh, My you chances on that were, were slow, and it was only for two points. It wouldn't. It didn't make a difference to so do that. So the two so for me. Now I'm coming there. out, and I can do the four or the two. What do yep. I think you're going to roll next? I'm going to go down here. I'm going to roll a five or a six. I know that. I just don't know what the other does. I don't think you are. Okay. So I'm going to go down here, okay. and that's a point. All right. Here we go. After resolving the roll, yep. All right. I told you I was going to roll a five or a six. I just you didn't know really what the did. Other one. I should have listened to you because I would have gotten in here, but I did not. So having not listened, I have five. to pick something here on the way down, and I'll go here. I'm trying to get that hack so I can reset my run. Give you guys a moment to. Uh, Make your decisions here. It's really, really tasty. You sure you don't want to say? No, actually, it's double. It's um, buy one get one free day, so I don't have to choose. After this, I can go and get a frappuccino and a coffee. So I mix. I will happily buy one for you. <laughs> no, no, I don't want some of that. All right, it's really tasty. All right, here we go. A five and a six, not ideal for me. Oh, that sucks. So I can't use it here. I can't use it there, which means it falls all the way down here, which means I guess we're going to go right there, which gives me two stars, but ugh. Ugh. Wow. All right. That was not ideal. So Jess wants a six, ideally, to be able to mark off that on the... Um, on the cash spinner, and I really am indifferent. I just want to hit one of the runs. So, all right. Oh, nice. A six point spinner and completed the alleys. Well done, Zev. Well done. All right, here we go. Six and a two. Well, I can't use the two though, so I'll just skip down to here. All right. Eh. And then I get to mark this for the six. And I'll just go ahead and uh, start it out right there with the R, I guess. <laughs> All right. Nice. <laughs> well done. All right. Here we go. On a run, you must take the die roll. Uh, then you get uh, get to choose the lever not. Correct. Uh, Robert, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Yep. That's what we did. All right, so ideally, I would like a three, four, five, or six. I am not picky. Do you have a preference? No. Okay. You don't want a five or a six? Maybe. Okay. How about a four? Four, four sounds good. Or a four. I'm good with that because what I'm going to do is come down here and mark this off. So first I get a point for that, and then I get to erase this and pick a bonus. Which one am I gonna pick? Um, I could erase run, that seems like a good idea since I have it full. Uh, flipper pass, next run times two, or next cash. I'm gonna erase run, because it's full. It just seems like a thing to do. Remember, so you can only off. use that once per game. Yeah, it's all, okay. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't seem like a bad thing to do. So, done. Correct, unless you use a hack to ignore it. Exactly, Robert. Yep, you nailed it. Um, yeah, this is going to be really interesting. I I think if I roll a six, I'm probably not going to finish the run. I'm going to actually come out here to be able to gain a hack because that will fill in that for me. So we'll see. Well, it's a cow's opinion. It's... Um, do I finish the run now? Do I? Uh, let's get greedy. No. So I'm going to use the three there, score a point, 
So I'll spit out over there, really wanting a one or a two now. Oh, and I get two hacks. Thank you, Zav. Oh, you do get two. That's right. Yep. I was so concentrating on the run, I wasn't realizing that. Yeah, yep. that's great. All right. There you go. There's a one and a six. Like, uh, it's something for everybody here. Again, can't use that. Oh, I can't use the six. Darn it. So I'm going to go there. This six. And, and use the one yep. here for one point. And that was the one, so I'm up here. All right. Really, really, really would like a six now, please. Pretty please with... Uh, sugar on top. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Everyone at home ready? All right. That is not a six, to be clear. So a four or a three. You know what? I think I will mark that off and get a star. And uh, basically, I want a one through four for mine next. What do you want? I don't know. I'm open. Yes. Correct, Alexander. Uh, however, unless you get to erase the run like Jess did for the special ability. Yeah. There you go. All right. How about a six or possibly a six? six which is... Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, that really, really sucked bad for me. Well, that's the end of the first ball for me. So, that's a six, and then I get two points per filled yellow flipper box. So I assume it counts that. So two, four, that's it. Oh, that's terrible. One, two three, four, and I'm done. But when my ball went through, out through here, it's going to come back up there, but my runs get erased, that, and everything in the bottom box here, except for obviously what round it is for me, gets erased. Everything else stays. So I'm now on ball two, or round two, which in this case is uh, one of the same. Yep. Oh, Yen's, Yen's had the in same the same boat. Yeah. Yep. I need a Pop-O-Matic. Yeah, it's kind of what I, I... I I brought the camera in tighter for this one, and so this is... I didn't... Did oh, nudge, one, nudge. But. You could have nudged to a four. Oh, son of a... You just... I forgot them. about the nudge. You always do. You don't like taking those. Though I will say, Zeb, in our last game of this, I he forgot. really saved his nudges until the end, and it actually was super beneficial for you. It was, but in this case, I just totally forgot. Yeah. So, it's all right. A ship it's all right. has sailed. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It just means I have more opportunity to nudge you later. That's what I'm saying. All right, here we go. Damn it. Uh, okay. Would you like a two? No. Well, actually, yes. I'm good okay, with Okay, so I will go there. So there we go. Two. So I get a point, and because I filled that, I get a hack. However, remember, which, I do not get fill? to erase that. This. Nice. That bumper is full. Now, if I get a six and a three, I get to erase all three bumpers, and I would get two more hacks. How about that? That I might be nudging on. That might happen. Nudge was it? Yeah, the tumbler hard. was yeah. a really good idea. I like what you're doing. That's super cool. It's oh, like the pop -o -matic. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. All right. Here we go. Come on, six. Uh, Not a six. Ooh, but it might be. Oh, I can go to the four. Yay. I All right. Think, okay. I'm going to fill this. Now I get a skill shot. What is the skill shot again? It's a wild. Remember, you can pick a number, one through six, whatever number you want to have in your back pocket to be able to use at any point. Where do I mark? Oh. Right here. There it is. Okay. There's the skill shot. So I'm going to pick a number. Um... Well, I mean, this having the three would be really good. Oh, you know what, though? Having this five for later, I might like that because, hmm, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna do the five. I'm not gonna think about it. Doopy doopy doo. So right now I have the five skill shot. All right. So I nudged from a five to a six, which means that's gonna go there. I get a point and I get a hack. By the way, the, the nudging would have failed for me. It was pointed out, just saying, okay. So there we go. So I got a second hack for filling that. Good call. Your thanks. Appreciate it. Strategic. Right. You're Clearly. Amazing. Or, or, he no. knew. He knew. He knew. I knew. I mean, let's face it. All right. Oh, you're welcome, Tony. I'm glad to hear it. And I tilted because I nudged by one. Yes. <laughs> there you go. All right. So I have a nudge of one. So I want a difference. I, I, basically anything but doubles. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I can do that. Although, I'm going to be greedy. I want a three in all of that. Because I not only get a third hack, I would erase all three of my bumpers. Oh, and a star. Oh, that'd be so good. Ah! But my nudge is safe. I did not tilt because the difference uh, between five and one is four, so that's bigger. So a five and a one. Ooh. You know what? I'm okay with that. I will go there. And I'm going to go ahead and mark off my next run gets double stars. So I'm going to circle this one because it's active. So whenever my next run it goes, I get that. So that's awesome. Okay, so I'm over here. Okay, here we go. Six and a one. Uh, what do I want? I Now I want to start working on that run now. So there we go. I marked off the one there. Hey, if you guys are enjoying it, consider giving it a thumb down below. Subscribe to the channel. Certainly would appreciate it. You want to support the show over on pledgehc.com right there. By the way, if you guys haven't heard the latest podcast episode, it did drop two days ago, I think it was. It's a two-parter. It's a big one. Uh, every Tuesday, you can expect a episode coming out. All right, you ready? Yeah. Us. You want to roll? No. Okay. Five and a four. Pretty clear where I was going. I don't have a rhyme or reason on any of that yet. Okay. Did you get your point? Mm hmm Okay. This one's harder. It definitely feels harder, like to be able to See, manipulate things. I'm actually, yeah, I'm, I'm not finding it harder. What's going to be interesting, I'm actually good on any roll but double fours. Yeah. Because a three would at least spit me out here. Yeah. So anything but double fours. So for me, like, and I don't mean that it's not strategically, I think there's a lot more options because of the run and such. Um, so I'm finding it more, like there's more options, but yeah, harder, I wouldn't say. Well, yeah, it just strategically, there's more to plan out. That's yeah. what I mean by I don't know, harder. I'm just feeling like, just letting it fly, so. This you is can just, play pinball like, that go, way, there's yeah. nothing wrong with just, that, right? Yeah, this one's really speaking to me. I'm like, just do it, let's do it. And Alexander, you're gonna see a playthrough of the actual production copy on the show about a month or two before release. Yeah. So, of Arkwright the card game here. A two or a three. Yep. All right. Oh, do I get greedy? I get a lot of bing, 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 bing going on. I think I am going to get greedy. I'm going to take the three Your yellow targets here. should be reset, Edward. Oh, they should. Thank you. So there's a three. So I get a star. <gasps> I get a third <gasps> hack. And while we're erasing all the yellow targets. I will also erase all three of my bumpers because those are all full now. Oh, that'll do. And I'm there on the three. Excellent. It's the three boxes on each flipper. Boop. What was that? Boop. Those are the flipper boxes. Oh. So. You still erase everything. Yeah, no, 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 I know, but I have four less points. Thank you, Murr. Okay, I will fix that. Oh, you were giving yourself points as you went out? Well, right here. Perf-filled yellow flipper box. Technically, it's those. Oh. I did that and that, and so I would lose those yeah. uh, four points. So, okay. 
Thanks, Murr. I appreciate it. Hey, Joe. There we go. All right. Cool. All right. Here we go. So looking for a one or a two for me. Perfect. <clears throat> well, don't have much of a choice. I will go there. Bing, bing, bing. Be a point. Nice. So now I absolutely want a two, three, four, or five. That seems reasonable for a request. It's not too many. Mm -hmm. uh, hit refresh, Sean, if that's the case. A five. I said a two, three, four, or, oh, I did say a five. Okay. You uh, did. I, I did. don't know why you're. Okay. So two points, one and two. You guys following along? Everything making sense? You guys having a good time there? Uh, one, two, five, or six. Having a skill shot in your back pocket for the runs, though, is always nice. And alas, I don't have that luxury. All right. One or two. Oh, that works out. Give me an R. Give me a U. Really need a five or a six now. Because I really want this run. Bad. I mean, I get double stars, and I have three hacks. I mean, come on, man, right? Come on, five or six. One time. Yes. She's tricky. Tricky, tricky. Mary, Mary, why you bugging? All right, we got our first run coming up. All right. All right, Sam, hopefully you play along when you come back, Sam. Just print it off. All right? Yeah, you can play along in the future, too. Hey, Thomas. Yep, exactly. Time travel. Hell, I could play again just watching yep. this, right? Nice thing about having them laminated. And by the way, Zev, uh, they're coming laminated or like... Yes. What do you call that? Like they're... Laminated. <laughs> Four boards in the box. Uh, two boards per player, double-sided, so there's four boards, right? Plus the back glass, right? I think, yep. Hey, messing up rules. Thanks hey. for checking in, though. Yep. Saying hi. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. It's, uh, yeah. No, right, well, cool. they mess up the rules. I know, I know. It's... All right, here we go. We mess up the rules, too. We feel you. Too far. Uh, all right, so it's seven. Not that. Five, six, seven, and yeah, three traces. Here, get a point. And Where are my fives and sixes when it's now? it's filled... And I have to, but I have to reset all of them. All right, so I get one more hack and do. So I'm working on a new software suite for the show, for the presentation. So that's why there's not a lot of HC content this week, but we did promise you guys this last week, so we're doing it. And you have a show tomorrow, yeah? Yes, that got changed up, so I'll have to ask you to join me. Oh. Yay! Yeah. I am super stoked about this. Yeah, my guest had a family issue, so... Oh, or do you want to just postpone it? Oh, that will be postponed, but I have another one in the bag that if you would join me for. Uh-oh. I'm less excited about the surprise. I really wanted to do what... Mm. What? You, you were involved with the pick of the other one. I'm intrigued now. You got I'm scared. I don't know what it okay, is. Okay, fine. We can tell them. It doesn't have to. As long as you agree to this. Oh, oh. Do you agree before knowing? Because we're about to announce it. So you have to agree. So you're going to allow me you on know. your show for the first time? You've had a bunch of people on there. Not me. Y yes. You, you missed one of the main category requirements for my show. <laughs> you're not a girl. I am but not. this is a subsidiary of Girl Stampede. What we are doing is Legos. Legos! Legos. And Legos know no gender. They are genderless. 
They are Legos. So, or they are Lego, I'm sorry. They are not Legos, they are Lego. They're Lego, mm -hmm. singular. I know. So they are Lego. Even I knew that. So you are welcome to join me on my Lego sub show for Girls Stampede tomorrow at 3 p.m. We will start putting together Jurassic Park. Yes, I'm in. The set. So yes, we will start that tomorrow. Yay! So tune in. Fun stuff. Here we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Big numbers, big numbers. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. That'll work. That worked, by the way. So I get one work trace. for me. And three, eight, nine. Yay. Yeah, dry erase material, right? Yeah, see, to me, layman, it, like, you guys can see the edge of this. You can tell it's like, but, like, it's, uh, when it's printed, it, it has this, like, covering, which I guess is laminated, but whatever. Yeah. Technically. Right. It's just All a right. choice of laminate. They're Alexandra says, I'm set up for a run with seven hacks and a double star. Woo-hoo, Alexandra. I can't wait to see I, that. I, seriously. Take All right. Take a picture, man, well, and I, post it and tag us. I want to see this happen. I, I he's... Well, seven hacks. That's I what I want to say. I want to yeah, see this. Wow. Yeah. Do, right. do, do, do. All right. Well, that was an excellent role then for me and Alexander. Is it Alexander and I or me and Alexander? Me and Alexander. Okay, or Alexander and me in that okay. case. Because it is the object, not the subject. Uh, for four, do I want to use a hack? Because that's kind of crappy. Nah, I'll go ahead and there and I'll get four. Okay. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. That's a one and a three. You were saying four, and I confused myself. Oh, sorry, sorry. My bad. Um, so one and a three. So I still can do this, so I shall. Coding, you get it. Exactly! See? We're here, Zev. We're here. Yes. All right. I'm just thinking about the manufacturers have a list, and it says laminate options, and then there's a list laminate. of laminate options, and it's... Under the laminate options, that's that's. Hey, all. Yeah. You're not wrong. No, and it's and it was funny. I will. It's say pedantic. It's like I'm looking at like what. Yeah, it's just because I know what the manufacturer. One mil, and three mil, is. Yes. five mil. It's, right. Yeah. And you know, a five, and you, to actually know what the size is for that. Yeah. Yes. These are the weird. It's a weird world we live in to know all of this weird stuff right. about games. And look I, at it. Like, you look at it differently because you look at it and you're like, "Oh, I'm surprised they went with that sizing." <laughs> like it's just. It's so well, weird. when I went to Staples, I was like, "Yeah, I want matte laminate." Yes. Right, five mil. Yeah. So I knew that, and they were like, "We don't have any matte," and I'm like, Ugh. "Yeah." So thankfully, it's not too reflective. I'll show you but. some of the category. Yeah, I'll show you some of um, the manufacturers' cats. Like it's so. a whole form. It's really cool to see how these are made and what their options are. And sometimes that comes up in a show, right? You'll talk about something and be like, why did they go with this? And I'm like, oh, well, the only options are, like, <laughs> so, Hold behind on. the scenes. Hold what? on. What's wrong? Does anybody else see this? Hold on, I'm at, hold on. Let me, let, yeah, that shows it. What? I know it's not because copyright, yada, 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 but you're telling me that thing in the background isn't like the little car uh, thing from Tron? That, right, the little racers? Just saying, looks a lot like it. Just caught my eye, thought I'd share. Okay, all right, moving on, here we go. Wipe off boards in St. Malo. Okay, fine. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. That sucked. I'm gonna use a hack on that, because, yeah, I can do better than this. I did not invest all this effort, so I'm down to two hacks. All right. Cheers, Rocky, for you being off work. Cheers. I feel like you're just rubbing it in now. What? Drink. What I, I... No drinks for the guests here at HCHQ anymore. <laughs> 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 I better run. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's better. That's eight. I'll take that. Oh, so I can hit a run right now, or I can go down and get more hacks. I wanna wait. I'm gonna go down. <laughs> that was that was me earlier. And I get. I hear you, Zeb. I hear right you now. in my head. And because and also I kind of want the hack. I mean, a run to have the times two if I'm gonna do it. Sure. So I don't right? really want to do that right now. All right. So five and a three there. So hopefully you guys are ready. Give it a thumb. If you guys are liking it, 
and subscribe. Like, subscribe. We have such an engaged community, but we need more subscribers. Help us out. Oh, come on, man. One, two. Sure, that knocks this one. That gives it's me. It's not worth it. Oh, did I give me? It's point? another hack. Oh, I don't think I took my point last time. I didn't, but I did take my hack, which I get another one of because I just filled that. Bite looks uh, more like uh, the bike in the Akira anime movie. Okay, all right, oh, Eric. All right. And now these are all done, so I get to clear them. It's in that light cycle. Light cycle. That's it from Tron. Uh, Kaneda's bike from Akira Design Space. All right, there we go. All right. Oh, you got your alleys filled. Did you, do you need oh, to erase them? Oh, I didn't them? erase them, yeah. Sorry. I took the skill shot, but I didn't No, erase. you're fine. Just trying to help. And I haven't needed them, so it's fine. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Come on. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks. Stop. Oh, there you go. Not what I You're welcome, wanted. Alexander. Not that. There's so eight. I have one choice. Three, four, five, Which six, is that. Seven, eight. And that's a point. I know this is going to sound dumb, but I just realized these get bigger <laughs> as it goes along. No, it's something I noticed it is going through uh, it too. All yeah. right. Going up, ramping up those points. Got to fill more. Remember, you cannot use nudges when you're doing a run. No. Okay, it says no skill shot, no nudge. So. No, because it's its own little mini game. Yep. And it grabbed your ball on the table and you're. No way, we still want to over here. Stop. Go. Oh, uh, there's my last hack. Well, wow. that's not good. Oh, boy, is it. I might want to nudge. I can nudge to a five. I'm out of hacks. Oh, um, no. Or I could nudge the three to a four. That's 18. No, that's 14. Yeah. I'm going to nudge. Oh, no, I have it. Yeah, I'm going to nudge the three to a four. Okay. So I need to nudge one. I take my nudge. Um, I already mark it, right? Yes, it, it is done, and then you'll see if it succeeds here in a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. So a six and a one has a difference of five. I need no more than a difference of two. I am going to roll the dice, okay? She's going to have a green finger. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> I am going to roll. Uh, I'm going to push it. No whammies. No whammies. Big bucks. Big bucks. Big bucks. Stop on a trip to Aruba. That'll do, pig. Thank you. That'll do. So the nudge was successful. So I'm fine. I did One, not tilt. Two, three, and now I have a five or a six, seven, eight, which nine, ten, I go 11. up here. Um, oh, I could do a run again, but I don't want to run. Because I'm not times two. Yeah. I am going to end my run, and so I have 12 completed, mm -hmm. so that's going to be 24 points. All right. So, so it's going to be over five, here. I'll 10, take the 6. 15, 20. And take the 21, point. 22, 23, 24. So all those are done. All right. That was a decent run. I don't feel like it was a great run, honestly. Um... So that is done, so I'm going to actually X that off. That's completely done, and clear these off. So that is out of play and used, just so low thing for myself. So now on the next roll, I gotta go ahead and come on out. All right, okay, here we go. And you doubled your points? I did, I got 24 okay. instead of 12. Yeah. So a one or a two, I'll go ahead and take the one. All right, well I can't bing, bing, bang. Um, only thing I can do is this. All right. Ugh, oh, the run is gonna reset though, because I'm gonna fall out. If That's that happens, fine, yeah. I can do it in the future, I don't worry about it. Six or a six? Could I, yo, dog, I hear you like sixes. Well, now I really have no choice. Well, I could nudge into a five. Huh, why not? It's just a nudge. As long as I don't hit doubles again, you're safe. Yeah, 
Oh, I actually could just take my skill shot five. But nah, I'll nudge. It's one. I'm good. Okay. Mm hmm All right. So I would like a three, three or four at the end. Oh, sorry, Jess. Ah, you rolled doubles, so I, I tilted. So what you happens? Did. All right, you erase the nud, that yeah. number up here. Yeah. And you lose the ball. Okay. So you're now onto your second ball. Everything on your run erases, and everything on the bottom row erases as well. So I'm marking Ooh, off. that sucked, because I had all these filled. Oof. Should not have done that. Um, in that. Actually, I'm gonna. Oh man. I'll go there for the, that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, Phil. What's up? Phil, oh, hi. Miss you. Oh, that was, yeah, th these are great run rolls, right? Whenever you get doubles, it's like you are the anti-nudger. <laughs> Heavy pen play. Yes, coffee. Oh, that's a terrible run <laughs> right there for y'all. Uh... I will do the six there. Where are you up to, Alexander? All right. Um, so what do I want here? I would like double sixes or a five and a six. Or double fives at worst. So you're welcome for all you people that are currently running. That's what I'm pulling for. So get a sailboat. You gotta that is freaky, isn't it? I'm just saying. So I'll go a five here for five points. Bing, bing, bing. One, two, three, four, five. And then I will mark that off right there, which means that erases. And I will go ahead and put a one. No, I'm gonna make that a two. Hold on, as my skill shot is gonna be a two. The reason for that is for this or for that to save myself if need be. So there we go. It's a schooner. Jens wanted snake eyes, but yeah, um, you're up to 30. That's solid. Well, that's about as good as, that is literally, that's like kings in poker. It's the second best hand ever made. Second best roll if you're running outside of six and six. So there you go. Here we go. Wow, I am, you guys are loving me, aren't you? I'll do a five. One, two, three, or four would be great at this point. I certainly appreciate it, Fel. Thank you. All right. You ready? You really don't care what I roll because your bottom row is pretty much all set up. So here we go. How about double threes? Wow, I am. I You runners are loving me right now. And so Jess wants a, say, a four and a five, a two and a five. Nope, I really don't care. Okay. All right, here we go. Because I have a skill shot. Oh, okay. Do as you will. Alexander has uh, 40 times two now with one hack left. Wow, I am. So what do I up. do here? I'm changing one of the die to a five. Okay. So I just change one of the die to a five to take this. Right? Sure, and then the other one's a three. Three, so yep. I have to take that, go here. 
And then this is going to be, I'm using Five the points. skill shot, so I'll take, no, it's not. Oh. Um, I'm using my skill shot, so I'll erase that. I got the five, so I'm going to cross that off. That is five points, plus I have the next cash bonus active. Um, that's the cash, am I correct? Yep. So that's times three, so that's 15 points. Fair enough. Well, I guess... For the three, I will go there. And I could have nudged. I don't want to. Yeah, I'm good with that. I'm cool with that. Oh, well done, Jens. Well done. Wow, both Jens and Alexander just hit 200. That's amazing. So, got it full. And double. <laughs> well, now I'm showing, showing folks how it can be done. There you go. A four and a three. What about the four here? I would like a one or a two. Yeah, one or a two would be good. And I took this, so this goes away. Nice. <sighs> I've been really kind to the runners, for sure. There you go. As long as you have enough hacks, right? A five and a three. That is not a one or a two. This channel is just awesome. Thank you, more coffee. Oh, I appreciate it. All right. I... You know what? I'm going to actually use my skill shot. Oh, I can use the three. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go there. Do that. Which will activate this, which erases run and gives me two hacks. Those are the bumpers times two. Oh, and they go both ways. That's nice. Erase cash. I don't really need to do that. Three three hacks is really cool, but I don't think I need it this second. I'm going to do the bumpers. All right. Um, times two, so my bumper bonus is active. And that also means that I can use the white arrows yep. until the end of this so round. So every time you bing, 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 you get two points in both directions. So I would like a two or a three, please. Like Mr. Oh. Miyagi. Okay, here we go, two or three. No whammies, no whammies, big bucks, big bucks, stop. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Here comes the run with two hacks. I'm good with that. Okay. Here we go. Two or four. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the R. That's what I just did. All right, so collectively, how about a three or four, huh? How about okay. that? All right, here we go. I don't want it yet because I don't want the next run, so oh, I actually okay. don't care. All right, fair enough. Well, can go the other way on the runs though, right? I don't have the double points. Oh, yeah, mistakes were made. I see this now. Oh, I actually want to stay up there, so I'm going to do that. So you know what? I am going to go ahead, and it's going to be a crappy run that I'm going to be working on, I think. But, yeah. So now I would like a three or a four, please. Oh, Zeb got 200. Well done. I want a three, four, five, or six. I would like half, uh, half of that, a three or a four. Everyone drives home in a Cadillac. Let's go. There we go. Now I We'd can do running. this because I have this turned on, so yep. I can go back here and I get two points. Yeah, it definitely is about the, the runs for sure, Alexander, maximizing those. Hmm. All right, here we go. I'm running and Jess wants either a one, two, five, or six, huh? All right. 
Okay, I'm good with that. I'll take my five for one trace. So how about a five and a five, or a six and a six, all right? Sorry, five I feel or like three, I'm Five, six, or three works. Okay. For me. Good, five and six, that works. All right, no whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks. Stop. Ha, 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 ha. the choice easy. And two points. That'll work. That'll work. What's the current score? Um, I'm at 65 and you're at 59. Yep. And then, of course, we have people at home if they want to chime in. Well with over what 200. They mm -hmm. have. Some of them are. You don't have to make Yens, it. Jens, Alexander, and Zev, we know, are at least 200. So, yeah. What are your guys' scores at home? Good call. You're way better at that than I am. All right. Oh, we tried to get on to double sixes. We almost had box cars. Three, one, two, three, and nine, five. Bing, 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 bing. I'm just enjoying four. my bumpers. Okay. Is that six still open for you? Yep. All right. So how about we get double sixes for Jess? Just for Jess. No, I would like a one, two, or six. In fact, I think a one or two is better for me. You would get another hack if you get a six, though. I don't want the hack right now. I want to maximize my bumpers for this bonus. I ah, have. all right. Jens, leader in the clubhouse so far at 245. Did I feel? No, I didn't feel that. All right, here we go. Double sixes. Hmm. No whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks, big bucks. Stop. Woohoo, got that, my two. That was not ideal, but that's seven. Three or a six. Three or a six. I would Double like sixes. That'd three be great. Or a six. Seriously, Jens and Alexander are neck and neck here. Oh, Zeb's 241 right there, but on his last ball. All right. Ooh. Delivery. From Amazon. I am excited. We can be like Mr. Rogers. The mailman's here. <laughs> or blue, what is it? Um, Blue's Clues? The mail. Check the mail. The mail, mail Seven. time. All right, uh, three or four. Yay! I have the three. So go here, take two points, and that gives me another hack. Wow, well done. Yeah, I've been. I'm building, I'm building, I'm building. It's like Legos. I'm building, or I'm Lego. building. Lego. Lego, my Lego. All right, here we go. Come on now. Yay. I will. Uh, I'll go ahead and hack that. Another hack. And another two points. Now I really want sixes. Go for double sixes. Double sixes would be great. I'll take double sixes. Oh, Zev, no nudges in last ball. All right. You got this, Zev. You got this. Keep looking for a drink, but I don't know how. <laughs> I don't want a London Fog latte. Oh, thank you. I do. <laughs> okay, apparently Blue's Clues, yes. All right. We got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Who it's from, that's right. That's uh, Blue's Clues. We just got a letter. We just got, we just got a letter. All right, here we go. From. Double sixes. No whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks. Stop. That sucked. I wanted a six. Why are you so mean to me? Well, uh, that'll be my last hack. Do I want to nudge for that? That's a bad plan. It's a bad plan, Jess. It's a bad plan, Jess. Don't do it, Jess. Jess, Jess. It's a bad plan, Jess. Don't do it. I wanted it though. All right. Well, I'm happy I could be a team player, y'all. All right. All right. So I need a difference of no more than two. <laughs> it's that simple. Uh, for three points, is it worth it to me? Or do I just take the nine and bug out? Do you have double going on though? You have double. No, I don't. I don't. Oh, I thought that's the... No, I, that's from last time. Uh, let's push it. Doesn't it go, you, you don't lose it. Why do you have it up? 
the well, I've already you used it. it. Yeah, but that, you just mark that here. Yeah, I just whatever. Yeah. I used it, so there we go. All right. So I need a difference of less than two, or two or less. Yeah, yeah we got a sizzler. So that's you a one. You did it. I could have nudged one, too, but two, I didn't three, want to chance four, it. Four, five. All right. Six, seven, eight, so nine, ten. eleven. That was six. a six-point roll right there. And I'm done at 15. Yeah, I'll take the... Mm, or I could take the 5 over here, and that's 2 points. I'll take the 5 over here. Ooh, 13, that's not 14, what I 14, 15. Five That'll do. here, and that's 2 points. Neat, neat. Whew. All right. And I'm on yellow. So I got... Thir mm. It's funny, I've done two runs. Got 39 points. They... Those three did one run and did it right. 200 points. So there you go. All right, so I am spitting out from my run here. Five, one. What am I trying to do at this point? I guess I'll go there. <laughs> Fel says, when's it hit retail? Um, Zev, when does? Take care, Zach. Thanks October for playing. It's new, it's, he, he answered a little while ago. Did he? Okay. All right. He'll put it in, I'm sure. Three and four. Not what I wanted, sir. Same. Not what I wanted. So we'll go there, which will be one point. Three, four, five, or double sixes wouldn't be the end of the world, I guess. All right, here we go. Six or a two. Hmm. I guess I'll do the two, which would be worth two points. Yeah. Yeah, I believe up above you said September, October. So. Okay, cool. There we go. Uh, a six would be cool. I mean, it's worth six points. Or, yeah, it's six, right? Yeah. That, that in fact, is not a six for those scoring at home. And this, I, I just can't take this, the cash. But I can take this, which gives me a skill. Ooh, can I use that right away? Like? Like, no, no I don't think so. No, because it's afterwards. Like, because right, yeah. this, and then right, change yeah, it to the no. four? Nope. No. You sure? Because you're doing it, and then you're... You will have had to have gone through here, yes. and then you get that. Then you get the skill shot after you've already okay. passed through Okay, I feel like you're right. I just wasn't sure. Um, I want to be able to change it to a six, because I really need to clear that. Um, so that's what I'm going to take for that, and leave this here. I think I'm gonna do something a little crazy. And I'm actually, with my double ones, gonna shoot all the way up, come all the way down, and hit that for the back door. So Sean, I think that's a great question. I do not think it is skewed more towards luck than tactics or strategy. I think it's a good balance of the two. Um, it definitely has felt to me like, oh, that was a bad decision, and that was on me. And to me, that's the test of whether strategy is really at play is if you can make decisions that are impactful, right? So there have been times when I kind of did the push your luck thing and obviously there's the randomization of the dice, but do you're making the choice to push your luck with certain things. So I think um, Jeff uh, Engelstein has done a really good job of giving you enough choices to um, hurt yourself and uh, also help yourself, which to me means there's strategy in this game. Yep, and Alexander, you know, lots of luck, but you need to understand the pinballs matrix and what it is you're trying to do and build up yes. for it. That way, 
you maximize your opportunities for when Absolutely. the luck comes or mitigate. I mean, there's a re reason there's pinball wizards, right? There are people who know how to, is it luck? Yeah, there's a lot of it, but there's also skill of where and when you hit things or utilize things and are, are pushing things. So same in this, it's really thematic. And these options that are going influence your decisions, but they don't demand your decisions. And they also, yeah, you want to kind of build up before you take that run, before you do um, other things on the board, right? So, yeah, yep. it's... And Max, they don't roll over. Ones don't turn into sixes. Sixes don't turn into ones. Um, no. That's a gap of five, which is bad. Yes. So, yeah. All right. So, here we go. Uh, choose a four or a four. Okay. Well, I'm going to choose a six because, you know, I did that skill shot. There is that. So I'm going to mark that, get my hack. I still have the double bonus, so I get two points. And these all erased, which is really what I needed. So that's a good example right there, Sean. Um, you know, had I had already a skill shot of a four and I had the choice to go up and use it on the cash here and get that four points, that would have been my choice to do so, but it would have been a short-sighted choice. Using that skill shot to get the six, like I ended up doing, um, so that I could make sure that I clear my bumpers because I'm currently using a bumper bonus and getting a lot of points out of doing that was my choice and it was far more beneficial. Um, to do that. So, yeah, there's your strategy. Six, please. Perfect. Three. <clears throat> All right. Or five. I will take the three. I guess I will use the three here for three points. And two points. One, two, three, and I'll use the five there. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. It feels like pinball. <laughs> it's right. thematic. Yeah, I mean, there's times, right, you're playing pinball and, and you hit that ball right and it just comes right out and you're like, ah, oh, right? So is there luck? Mm-hmm. Very thematic luck involved. Is there strategy? Mm-hmm. All right. Sure. I'll take a six. Not now it's making fun of me. I have the back and forth, remember, people? So you the, yell I'm at sorry, me. the what? The back and forth. Oh. I can use purple arrows or white arrows. For, so. And what, what sound does it make? Bing, 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 bing. Thank you. All right, so if you're running right now, you're welcome, okay? Three and a two, that'll work. Bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. I'm enjoying this bumper bonus. It's been wonderful for me. Oh, yeah, if you're running, you're loving me. Um... And see, that's another thing. I'm trying to do this bumper bonus first because I'll keep filling up each of these bumpers, which when you fill up a bumper, you get an additional hack. And I really want to max out these hacks for when I do my final run. So that's what I'm trying to do. Could it go south? Yup. Could I end up just losing my ball and going out of the game? Mm-hmm. But I'm enjoying it. I would like a three or a six, please. I'd like a four or a one. I'll take the three. We survive. Well, that'll be this will be the last time for this ball, though. All right. So now, what do we want? I really want a six, and then cycle through these to get ready for that. That would be great. That's ideally what I want. Yeah, I'm definitely planning ahead, Sean. You're right. Yeah, and you don't what you want to avoid coming down here as much as possible. Usually. Yeah. Yep. But I'm planning ahead also way more than I did the first time we played, so that it could be, you know, you start to see these patterns the more you play. Take the four. Bing, bing, bing. And we'll go there for the four. The four and the one are already filled, so nothing there. All right. Hopefully you all are ready. One or a three. That uh, sucks. All of those are filled. So this is my last thing. Bing, 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 bing. So I will go ahead and hit the th three there. 
drop on down. Now I need a one or a six to score me uh, six points. That's it. All right, I'll take it. That's a one. So I lost my ball, but I get two, four, six points on that. Bing, 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 bing. Boop. All right. So I'm now on my third and final ball. Run gets erased. And everything down. Oh, that's true. So I could have two more runs. You can have another run. Do, 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 do. I need more hacks. All right, I would like a one or a two, please. One or a three. I'll take that three. I'll take the five. So that'll There's be that point. hack that I need. And that'll be a hack. And this erases. And I got two points. I need a four for sure. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, you're right on the cusp of a hundred, huh? Uh-huh. Nice. All right. Here we go. Five or a five. It is not what I wanted. There's that hack I wanted. The two points, which is going to be that and leave one. Oh, this is going to be... I need the eraser for this. That was a five or five, so that goes here. And two. I have no idea what I want. One or a three. I would like that one because that's going to erase and give me my hack. Look at, I'm trying to get all these hacks going. And I think I will go with the three. This erases. There. And I get two points. There this we go. And Zev came through. Same dice, yes. Nudges do not loop. Release date September 30th of the first week in that's October. What I thought, there yeah. you go. Yeah, did you erase your bumpers? Why? Were they all filled? All three of them yeah. were filled? Okay, then you're, you're good. Right? They're well, not filled. Yeah, I mean, like, I can't empty or yes. erase that. Yes, oh, I did them one at a time, but luckily I never reordered, and I now have erased all three. Okay. So it worked out, but you're right, I did that wrong. Okay, all right. Luckily, it didn't actually end up cheating. I really would like a one and a six or a two and a six. Because I went from this one to this one to this one erasing. So. Gotcha. All right. No whammies. No whammies. Big bucks. Big bucks. One and a six. Stop. Perfect. <sighs> That's frustrating. Oof. All right. So I will go all the way around and get a four. There. I really want a two now. Bad. I want a two, then a one, two, or four. So, two, please. Thank you. How about two twos? It's overkill, but that'll work. Okay. So I'm set in good position. Now I need a one, two, or four for these to be able to get the double bumpers set up for next round. All right, here we go. And your double bo or your bumper bonus is done, right? No, why would it be done? Because did you lose your ball? No. Oh, then I'll shut up. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm probably projecting me. Uh, one or a four. Well, that'll work. I guess that'll be the four there, and that'll be a point. So, two, four, five, or six for me. Six. Really want a six one or a six two? Because it'll get me that and that. Call me greedy. Oh, that'll come do, pig. On. That'll do. That's, so that's insane. That's a six and that, which then is going to get me a what is it? that was that was in now. 
I'm going to look under the table. Where's the magnets five. that you have set down there? <laughs> All right. So, and I chose a two. Hmm. So right now, I desperately want a two or a four. No, specifically, I want a four, then a two. And then I want to come down here and use that two to clear the bumpers and get double points. So there we go. Come on, four. So that was up here. That's a two. All right. I will get that, which gives me a hack and a point. I'm now at 100. So a moment. Um, Sean, you just keep playing. Uh, we, we played uh, Carnival. Um, I went out not early. Like, I went out and Edward had another round. Um, and what I did is that's when I took over rolling the dice. And, like, you know, he would request things. And I'd be like, oh, let's see what you got. So, yeah. So, you you know, the other player keeps going. That is true. The rounds uh, can be dis dispersed. So, dis disparate? Disparate. That's what I wanted. Thank you. Disparate. See, kind of like you, I was trying to think of the word, you know, for laminate, which is... Laminate. Right, there you go. So one and two, now I need. That'll work. There, and I will get the double bumpers in both directions now. Okay. And, and that's a good point, Sean, because I would play this game solo, like this, and I don't, I don't play uh, solo very often. And this, I would absolutely play the solo. I would pull this out and be like, "Hey." In fact, when you were saying people could play along to the stream after the fact, if I didn't have any dice with me, or I was just out somewhere, I could play the stream so that you're rolling the dice for me and be playing this. Just like, saying, I'm a yeah. team player. So. Yeah. I'm just, yeah, you could just take it with you and then use this stream to play on the go, so. Not that dice take up a lot of room in your pocket or whatever, No, but if, but if you, you happen to not right. have them, or you just don't have the place to roll them, like what if I'm on the subway or something, and it's just easier. I can have the stream in, in my, you know, and be having, have it right there, listening to it, and just be. I should be calling off what we're Call wall what way. we have every right. time. All right, now we got it, so call off the numbers. Ooh, careful there, Tim. Be nice. I'm not rolling. Never mind. All right. It, it's a, the poker scandal from last year. Or from so no big deal. All right, here we go. You should you should con you should give context. Yeah. So yes, poker uh, scandal from Tim. All right. Uh, Three and a five. I'm gonna call them out. Okay. Thanks. Not what I needed. <laughs> so I'll call out that. I don't want a three or a five, and I don't have a skill shot. All right, fine. I'm going to go down here and do this hacker thing. All right. Which gives me an extra bonus. I'm going to probably regret this right here. Put that there. I really want a two. And I get a point. And I erase this. It was time for that, I guess. Yeah, once, as these get filled, it just becomes inevitable, right? So, I would like, for those scoring at home, I would like a 2 and a 4 specifically. That would be great. Okay, here we go. No enemies, no enemies. Big bucks. Ah, 6 and a 2. Okay, so that'll be here, which will be 2 points, and a 6 will go there. And, hey, those are race. So at least there's that. Now I really want a four. Yeah, I want a four like, like, terribly bad. So, I can I can go for four. All right, four is it is. Here run. we go. Puts me in a run. Yeah, here we go, here we go run. So there's that. So, so I can go be up two here. Points. Cross off my run. Goes here. I have the run bonus, so I'm going to get two times the stars once I calculate yes. it. These blue stars, that. however far I get down, so now, right? Yep. And now I have what Jess had earlier. And I've got a lot of hacks. Look at all those hacks. Okay. They're so pretty. <sighs> so I have six hacks getting ready for a run up there, and but I want to bing, bing, bing at double, and I can use both directions. So here we go. Here we go. All right. A number station podcast. That's funny. 
You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Five and a four. So that's a nine and a one for me. It's two points. I will use that one. So I want anything but what you want with your big numbers. All right. <laughs> That's terrible. That's so bad for me. I can't even use. Uh, I guess I can nudge, right? I have my two. Yeah, but I really. Oh boy. Cooper. You know what? I'm actually gonna nudge, and this might be the end of my game if I roll doubles again. That's gonna be a four. You know I'm voting for him. Points. I want doubles. Come here, Coops. All right, doubles in, my game's over. <laughs> here we go. Come on. Come on. All right, here we go. So I'm actually back so over here. So I get here. a 10 so and 2, I'm okay with that. Six, which would be two more points. So I would like anything but a 5 or a 6. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. What'd we get? Three and a nah, four. Well, at least it's only one. I'll take it. So that's two, five. All right. Six and a one. No, I'm not taking that. Seven is not worth five over there. So skip roll. I'll take the one. That'll be two points. Oh, and that nut just been used earlier. Okay, here we go. Uh, anything but a one and a two. Big numbers, big numbers, big numbers. Nope. I don't want that. All right. I'll take this Another six. skip roll. Oh, I don't like this. Come on. Come on, roll better you, for me. You are more than willing to, or, or roll more than welcome to me. roll. Hmm? No? Roll better for me. Okay, here we go. Well, all right. At least Take it's only one. Three, two more points. And the reason I'm doing this, yes, I'm getting points, but I'm also uh, close to getting a bunch of hacks, maximizing that, right? So now I would like double fives for Jess. How's that? Double sixes. For nope, me. fives. Double sixes. <sighs> you are awful. I that really is am. not worth it. I'm taking that hack. Wasting all my hacks. Come all right. on. Double Come fives. On. No whammies. No whammies. Big bucks. Big bucks. Stop. Jeez. That is not worth the two. I mean, it does get me through 15. Do so I take it? So four, which will be a hack. No, I'm not taking it for two. And two points. So that's a hack. Oh, you're killing so me. I want double fives. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do, I, do I get a little Nothing. kudos for that? Good job. Six. There, that's Eight, another nine, hack. Ten. And two more points. So I'm getting set up for my run now. Any doubles, well. any doubles, doubles, good, doubles, good. Do the doubles. So literally, I want a two. Would doubles of really high numbers be spider eyes? I, I cannot argue that, yes. All right. <laughs> That was awful! What are you doing? Sorry. A six and a one. Do I want to use that? I don't. It's a six and a one, people. No one wanted that. I will go there, which gives me one point. And now I want a one, two, three, four, or five for those scoring at home. Here we go. Three and a four. That's, come on, it's seven with a difference of one. God. I you're, don't like it. You're I don't. greedy. I'll do a... Uh, <sighs> come on, get me through this. Two and a three. So now double I sixes, want anything please. but twos. Please, double sixes. All right, I'll take double six. All right, double six, six, six. No whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks. Stop. <sighs> Fine. Just saying. Sheesh. Three. 
Yeah, that whole next run, double stars, do it when you have a lot of hacks. Lesson learned there. Hey, Steven. Uh, wanted to play fire, his five-year-old wanted to play nice, Fireball Steven. Island. Oh, dude, totally. I get that. All right, good. Doesn't mean you can't play along at your own pace, Steven. I know double sixes are box cars, but yeah. All right, here we go. So, five or six. That is literally the only thing I didn't want to roll. All right, I'm going to use my last nudge and turn that into a five for a difference of one. I am so close to 200. So I need a one or, actually, no, I don't even care what I get as long as it's not doubles. Literally anything. Anything please but doubles. Please doubles, please doubles, please doubles. I would not wish that on you. I need it. It's not about wishing it. I need it. If you got a six and a five, that would suffice. Yeah, let's go. You see, you see this, right? Everybody at home? I'm just saying. Can we decide that um, double fives then? Or, or spider you, eyes? Sure. Done. Double fives. Done. So my ha my nudge was successful. I cannot I'm use gonna this. I'm going to use any of those as a two. Clearly two that's not an option for me. Be there. And now I'm running. And I have eight Honestly, packs. double fives would be perfect for me. Okay, double fives I'm on board with now. Hey, Muhammad. All right, here we go. I'll take it. So You're welcome. that's a one difference, and Five, now I get one, two, ten, three, four, eleven, five, six, and a difference of one. Eight, so I've maxed. So I'm gonna escape because okay. I might as well. There's no reason to use yep. any more hacks or anything. I got a hundred, which becomes two hundred. So I just mark off those. You're welcome. Thank y'all. Now I erase, and my ball is back in. Where did my thing go? There. I stole it. Thank you. Edward, the dice whisperer. You know, I, I do what I can, unless I'm at the craps table. I'm the human cooler. Like, casino should pay me to w just walk up next to a craps Oh, and table. this is interesting. It's terrible. It says next run. So is that technically done? Yes. Okay. That bonus goes away after you use it. Correct. Versus when you're done a ball. Correct. Okay. But my bumper bonus is still active. So technically double fours. Because spiders usually have eight eyes. Is it eight eyes? Okay. Right, I, I wasn't so sure. I thought, no, they have eight be... legs. I'll let you two fight about it. I don't know. All right. That'll work. Eleven. I like that. Uh, I can handle this pace. One, two, three, four. A five and a six. Okay, so I'm going to do the six, which gets me double. And the crappy thing is, is even if I do perfect, it's only a hundred. And now I'm building up my hacks for potentially another run on my third round, because right now I can't use it. I'll take that. A six and a four. That's I can use ten, that. Three. There's the four. Nine, and two ten. points. Bing, 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 bing. One and a three. That'll I be can a use hack. That. It's not worth it. Two points. Bing, 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 bing. Five and a seven of two. Uh, two I cannot use. That's too many. That's too much tracing. That'll be a hack. I could erase cash, which would, in outline would be times two. I don't mind getting those. So I think I'm going to use the... I hate going down here, but it's not worth tilting, I don't think. I could push it to a three. But I hate the idea of nudge and failing if we get doubles. What do I do? What do I do? I got too many down here. All right, I'm going to take the five and one point. Ugh. For three, yeah, that, that's going to be another hack for me. A one and a two is that terrible. That's not great, but it brings me here. Yeah, come on, double five. It's another hack. Wow. What started out so good, good has now gone to crap. 
give me two. And I filled that one, so I get a hack. By the way, this works really well unless you have a headache. Just FYI. I'm getting one, too. Nine. Five and four. That'll no! Work. Whoa! So one. All right, we're going down to the four. Oh, that would be worth it because this would reset. But are you going to roll doubles? This is where you press your luck. All right, I'm going to try to tilt here for two points. My bumper bonus is still in effect. That's why I'm doing that. That will give me this. And we'll see. What do you one, one nudge. See, I'm okay with a six and a five. Unlike you, Miss, I want doubles <laughs> even so. I <laughs> that was the worst. Out it goes, bumper bonus gone. I'm sorry. And I'm on round three. But run gets cleared. All these that I was trying to build up get cleared. And I'm back up Have here. a good one, Tim. Christopher dropping spider knowledge for folks. Okay. Chat. Yeah, it's worth it to me for two. Oh, so this did clear. So I can erase that now. Not that it super matters because I lost my bonus. Um, four and two, which one? I'm gonna take this one right down the center. Correct, Christopher, you, you, that is spot on. Um, so apparently I'm recreating the authentic arcade experience. That'll work. A four and a three is seven. All right. Nope, that'll be a hack. Three left. All right, I, I would like doubles or high numbers. Uh, that is neither of those. Two hacks left. Spider pig's only got two eyes. That's true. Spider pig. Spider, spider pig, pig does, does whatever a spider pig, pig does. does. All right. I was I was crestfallen, Stephen. I I was I was I was sad for Jess. Empathy. Clearly. <laughs> There we go. Hot damn. We going to Sizzler. Three. How many are there? Thirteen. With a difference of two. That'll work. Can I, can I, can I just get like a six and a five? Perfect. How's that? Yeah. Six and a four, close enough. So this is a hell of a conundrum, y'all. Oh, so I that gives that me conundrum. 10. But that would fill up to where I Six have to have four. doubles. Do I want yellow or red? I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need doubles. And that's a difference of two. Yeah, I'm going to go with the four. The next two rolls, I need doubles that aren't snake eyes. <laughs> it's very specific. Here we go. Well, oh! well, well. You going to Sizzler. We going to Sizzler. Nothing but not. Boop, boop, boop. That will be 100. I realize that y'all got 200 when you did that, but you know what? It still feels good. Not going to lie. Still, still, still feels good. I feel like I've accomplished my mission in the game. That's the thing. I like having mini goals. Mini yep. goals are good. Yep. All right. And still have two hacks left. Hot damn. All right. We're coming out. So that's it now. Double fours are spider eyes. All right. Done. Book it. But this is the thing, you have to own it now. So when you're playing a game and you're like, spider eyes, spider eyes, and people are like, what are you talking about? You'd be like, force. what, you don't know about double four? Seriously. 
Trendsetters. That's what we are. So that'll be a two. That's going to be two points. I'm just trying to beat the 245 that these guys had like an hour ago. That's all. So it's going to drop out. So I would like, uh, I guess, a three. So we're double twos, glasses? <laughs> yeah. Four eyes. I, I'm aware. <laughs> Three and a five. Three and a five. Well, I might as well. No, I could go into a run right now. Oh, there's not really a reason not to. I'll go ahead and do the next cash. Because, I mean, I don't have tons of hacks. I do, though. I didn't use that many last time. I'm going to do it. So I'm in a run. All right. So I need to erase these. I give myself one point. So uh, any six will give me 18 points. That'd be cool. However, I need specifically ooh, a two. That makes that difficult. All right, just give me a two. No whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks. Stop. Close as possible. That's not it. Uh, I'm out of nudges. Oh, shit. Okay, phew, good. I have a one. I, yeah. My game is getting real close to being over, though. My run's done. I can't go up here. I can't go that way, which is I need for the cash. Uh, I need to roll a two to reset those, I guess, to get some points. You could. Oh, yeah, you did. A, okay, yeah. So, no, I need I need that, So which means I need a two. I have planned poorly. I realize this. So, all right, here we go. So, a two would be good. Oh, that's perfect. For me, it is. So off this flipper, up here, nothing. Here, nothing. Down here, I guess I'll go ahead and hit that. That gives me one. I basically need a two and only a two. Please, I need doubles. If you do two and twos, do two, two. I'm okay with this. Team no way, no way, big bucks, big bucks, stop. That is not what you needed, but it's nine and it costs me three. So the only, there's no threes, there's a oh. six. I don't really want to do that. Two, no, four gonna... points. One, two, three, four. Nine is a lot on here. But three is a lot on there. All right, I'm, I'm going to hack it. We'll see. You done? You there you go, so you guys can see it. You tilted? Yeah, my bad, Eric. No, I didn't tilt. It just went down the gutter. So there we go. I'm done. So I am the designated roller now, now for my ears. They can't see your score, though. Right there. Oh, you wrote it up there. Okay. So Ready? there you go. I don't want that. That's terrible for me. So I shall hack. Okay. Six and a two, that was. Four and a three. I will take that. Four and three and one. The Journey video game. That is so true, and I love that game. It was terrible, but I loved it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Next. Yay. Double twos. A little bit late on that one. I'll take it, though. The rolls are going to be a little bit more frenetic at this point. So here we go. No. That's a hack with a six and a one. Three and a two. I'll take that. You got it. All right. Five and a one. No. Getting low on hacks. How about, Yay. How about box cars? Perfect. Okay. Six and a five. Yeah, I'll take that. So that's four, five, one, two, three. Okay. Remember, you guys can always slow it down at this point. Three and a two. Do I, yeah, I'll take that. One, two, three, four, five. 
You're actually in pretty good shape, I think. We'll see. I mean, it doesn't double, so. Four and a two. Now that's tricky. Not worth it. I think you're probably right. All right, let's see. All right, Alexander lost uh, his, his last ball at 384. And Jens at uh, 330. All right. Three and Ugh, a one. That was not, terrible. Not, <laughs> so here's the thing. Leaving these allows me to push longer. So now I think the two is actually worth it. Because otherwise, soon I have to stop pushing. Well, especially, I mean, it gets you up to 20, right? Uh, all right. All right, here we go. Well, Thank there you, you go. How about some box cars? Can't say I don't love you. Seriously, this is fantastic. I will take Who double. Who loves you? You love me. This yeah. is great. <laughs> no, you don't love me. <laughs> It's a fickle. It's a fickle We're love, very apparently. Fickle. <laughs> very fickle. Only one hack left. So, uh, I should, I'm going to take the two. I still have the hack, yep. so I can keep pushing it. One, two, three, four. So what Hopefully do you need? I can get to the 50. So you need a difference of one, is what you're going for, with a, a difference of one. Double right? fives does it. A six and a five does it. So what is it you're asking for? Double fives. So 10 or higher mm -hmm. on the total outcome? All right, 10 or higher. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Big bucks, big bucks. Stop. Yeah, that does it. So I get the one, one, two, and I get the 10. And now I'm obviously going to decide to leave and take my 100. So I am out. <clears throat> Thank you. Who loves you? Yes, you love me. I am happy. This was great. I don't need any more hacks. Woohoo! Down my run. Yay! You're welcome. Thank you. All right. So, you're coming out of your run now? Yep. Here we go. Ready to go into bumpers. Six, Six or, or five. five. I'll take the five. All right. One point. Oh, I did, yeah. One point. That's it. Six and a five. Now I have to come out of here because that's not an option. Yeah, it's falling all the way down. Oh, and it's going all the way down because I can't do that. But I can take this one and get two points. Four and a three. Wee. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Six or a one. Three or a three? I can't go back and forth anymore, so it's down here, which this is what I need to go for, so I'll go to there. And that's all. Five and a two. Oh, you guys can see that. There you go. Can take the two. Four and a two. you get the two points for? I use this two, oh, gotcha. and that gives okay. you two points. Three and a two. Um, all right. Well, I can go all the way up here, use this two, which means I left to three, and get three points. There we cash. Go. A moment. Trying to give us more room here for my rolling. Here we go. One and a three. You're welcome, Kabuki Kid. Thanks for hanging out. Three and a four. It didn't help you. And sort of did. One and a three. Two and a three. Oh, there you go. No. Well, I, I have to skip that. I'll go here for one point in that. That was the two, so now the three, but I don't get anything for that. You get two points. 
No. Right. Oh, you use the two. Gotcha. I have to All use right, the yeah. two if I'm going to stop here, which I think is a better plan because the three is already taken. See. Thank you, Gator Dave. Six and a four. Oh, good. So, and that allowed me to take the six, which is a point. Six and a five. That comes down. That's already taken. So I have to go all the way down, which is going to be this. So ideally, you would like a four and a five or a four and a six. Okay. Perfect. One or two. This is why I don't plan. And you want a five? Oh, wait. So that was a one or a two. I used the one, so I do get the two this time. Okay, go ahead. All right. There's your five. And you would like your four now? That'd be nice. How about box cars? Yeah, not there. I think I'm out. Yep, because I can't nudge. So nothing here, nothing here. Can't go here. Oh, that sucks. So I get two per yellow flipper, which is only one. So I get two points. That's my game. And your final score is? 455. And looks like you're leader in your clubhouse. There you go. Yeah. All right. I want to know what Zev got. <laughs> what did you get, Zev? You got to tell me. All right. So what do you think? I like this a lot. Um, I will say one thing. This is longer than filler. <laughs> this is definitely a game um, that that is going to be longer than what you would usually do. Let's see, what did we start at? 320? Yeah. And it's 520, so this Two is- Two hours? Mm -hmm. Seriously? And you had a 30 will... minute teach, it was like 33 or 35 minutes, so- I guess to be able to teach it's the an whole thing. hour there, and a half, once yeah. you know the game, which isn't gonna you know, be a big deal for people, you know, there's not huge rules overhead. But it's a 90 minute game, so this is now not a lunchtime game. This is actually something you would sit and play. But it is something I would sit and play. So I think that's fine, but I don't think you can call this one Thinky Filler. What about you? That's an interesting, like, I'll be honest, it didn't feel like two hours to me sitting right. here. Um, my head's pounding, so I have a headache, but outside of that. That might be because you haven't eaten today, so let's not. <laughs> so, but Bad but, life choices on your part. But my, my point is, it didn't feel like two hours no. to me. And I was engaged the whole time, mm -hmm. right? Now and excited, like I'm excited about that role, and what are we gonna get? And, right. Yeah. yeah. So I think the game does exactly what it sets out to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like this board more than I like Carnival, honestly. And the reason for that is there's no multi ball in this one, which I'm sure there's good reason for it, but it it felt a little less a little less compelling this board than it than the Carnival one because. Even though there is more stuff going on in this one, it just didn't feel... I believe the exact opposite of you. Okay, all right. I think that's going to be a preference. So... I think so. This game is ridiculously thematic. It's so thematic. And, you know, so, uh, Steven said the only negative comments he's heard is that the game, you know, when people get knocked out early. Yeah, that's when I complain about playing pinball at the arcade, too. You know, you kind of kick the leg of the machine because you're like, what? Three of my balls just went right out. And you're really mad at it. That is going to happen in pinball. And that can happen in this game. Um, as far as a comparison of the two, I, I liked Carnival. I enjoyed it, but I was like, oh, okay, that's that. And I kind of thought, well, this is definitely kind of thinky filler. This one, I felt like I had so many strategies going. Now that could be because I have more experience playing the game now that we're playing Cyberhack. So now I'm more familiar with it. I've played it a few times and I'm seeing those strategies come mm -hmm. through. So I can't say actually that that's a direct difference between Cyberhack and Carnival, but I actually enjoyed it more this time than I did the first time. Fair enough. And and one of the things that people are talking about, yeah, multi-ball wouldn't work with the spinners. No, no. I get it. I understand there's reason for it. Um, but, I mean, multi-ball is like one of the most exciting things in pinball. I actually, and I can hear you. When, when I first looked at this and there was no multi-ball, I was like, 
Why right. is there no multi ball? But then I played it and I'm like, oh, this run is so exciting. Oh, the run is cool. Don't get me wrong. I and, like it. And, and, and the cash the that I was like, no, I'm fine without multi ball. So, but doesn't that then give you the options? Oh, right? 100%. No, there's that's multiple a good thing. Tables, yes. So you could just say, yep. I prefer this one. And hopefully your game group, you know, maybe half the time, you know, this is our game group right now. So, you know, half the time we play one and half the time we play the other. Compromise, right? So. Yeah. Um, and so there, there, there are two yes, things. Yes, there's a solo mode. There, there, yeah, it's called you just roll the dice yep. and mark off your own board. Yep. I mean, I was playing solo yep. today. And just then you just compete on your right. own, yeah. so you're against your prior. Yeah, scores. Mm -hmm. um, so two, th two other thoughts. One, if you wanted, you could make it two balls instead of three, or you know, two rounds instead of three if you feel it's too long. I don't see a problem with that. Yeah. I think that's totally fine. Um, and the second thing, was uh wow, that's a really good point you could make it a lunchtime game yeah just be like oh we'll play one round or we'll play two rounds yeah D didn't even think of that good so call. there you go uh and then this this board is completely built up around being able to do a next run at double stars and getting max at your run so preparing for that Another thing I saw, um I think it was on BGG I feel comments. like that's almost a must have at yeah. 200 points right um I might have been on BGG, so don't quote me. I apologize. I can't um, give credit. But um, was that as far as the downtime after somebody wins, especially in a two-player game or even multiplayer if you've gotten knocked out early, was, you know, A, go again or add other rounds and, like, basically mark your score. Like, hey, my score was 455, but, but if you're still point. going, I can continue to play and say I'm on my bonus round four or something. And here's the theme you know what? to it. Wait, there you the theme to it is you put another quarter in, or, or, which is what you do. Or the match. Or the match. That's the one. Right. Th it came up and matched at the. All right. Hold yes. on. That, that's that's what I'm saying. That knock. That oh, you hey, you got it. You got a match. You so, could even add that where you're yeah, like, if where's you can, that? No, but you and I can see where you can add that. Right. It could be if the next one's almost like the nudge. You could be like, all right, if the if next, the next roll, roll is doubles. Is this or what have you, you get an extra round. Like, so there's things you can do as a game group to kind of house rule people into continuing to play if they want to. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So there's ways around that. Or you might have people who are like, nope, I'm ready to roll the dice and just see how you guys fare. Uh, there's multiple options. And so I don't think that actually, even though it exists in the game, you know, when when we go and have an arcade party, which we do at a lot of conventions, a bunch of us love pinball, and we'll go to find an art local arcade, and we'll all go play, same thing happens, right? We'll be at four machines in a row, and sometimes somebody's done first, and either they watch somebody else and wait, or they go on. So again, it's just that party kind of, yeah, have a drink. Just enjoy. Like, it's really that arcade atmosphere. And I think in this case, you could make an argument. It's thematic. And, right? and... If you're not streaming, you can play some loud music in the room, have some fun, make Chill, it a party relax. atmosphere, have yeah. a cocktail, or, you know, a... But keep in mind, we're the type of gamers that don't mind being splattered out of a game. So that's always going to be okay in our tastes. It, it, it just is. We, we don't find a problem with that. So it is good to comment that if you do have a problem with everybody not game ending the game at the same time, that exists here. And that's another actually really good point that Alexander just made was one thing that helps is, okay, if I lost my first ball early, yeah. I'm just going to hang out and wait. Maybe I'll roll the dice. And then once Jess loses her first ball, then I'm going to join her. Yeah. And now we start. Now I start. You start each ball, or each round on you the same. You could totally role. do that if you if you prefer. Yeah. Not a problem. So there, there, there's tons of house there. rules. There are ways to do it. I mean, again, that's the way you handle arcade play, right, with friends. So yeah. I mean, do let's that. face it. If I'm playing pa uh, Pac Man, Miss Pac Man, or Galaga, Jess has got a weight on her hands. So I just know. go play Cubert for two hours. There you go. See? <laughs> so it's really easy. There you go. Yeah, a two-liter bottle of cream soda and an all-rush mixtape. So, there we go. Where's Zima? Yeah, to I be splattered is a skills. verb. Just like teach, right? I, I I guess I coined that. I always say splattered, splattered out of a game. And I didn't know that I was the only one who said that until people have been like, what? But yes, um, splatter spelling being a the game design group. And you can, in their games, you can very early not be able to win. So there you go. That is Super Skill Pinball. Woohoo! 4K.
Because there's four boards, I guess. That's why it's arcade. arcade. Okay, there you it's go. It's perfect. Cool. All right, so hey, if you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumb down below, subscribe, support the show. Really, really could use the support, you guys, over on pledgehc.com. Yeah. Uh, it helps the show. Um, there's Keep running. And there's upgrades that are needed. So. And, and there are upgrades that are coming. That I mean, if you guys saw on Twitter, we got a new display coming. We got uh, new software, which not cheap. So, yeah, if you guys uh, appreciate the work it's that we do content. here on, on the show, certainly would appreciate it. Go to pledgehc.com. <laughs> Big thanks to everybody over at WizKids. Uh, for the support. Yes. Um, and thanks for joining us, Jeff, the designer, Jeff Engelstein. Yeah, and Jeff Zev. and Zev. Appreciate uh, over that at a lot. WizKids, so that was pretty it's cool. Almost like we're at a con together again. It was fun. Not at all, but I appreciate <laughs> them joining us. And thanks to all of you guys. Took time out of your day to hang out. Um, it's been it's been a rough couple of days here, so certainly appreciate it. Uh, we will apparently we're gonna be building Lego tomorrow. Yeah, uh, see, Jurassic we're Park. Fell's in Slack now. The best Slack channel, I'm in a lot of Slack channels. The best Slack channel is Heavy Cardboard Slack channel. So become a patron if you want to see us talking about games. Um, you know, we talk about anticipated games, 18xx, uh, everything. Everything is in there. Video or, games. Or, we even talk about video games. Oh, a lot of video and games. And cooking. It's, it's a great channel. So. And, and a lot of random funny stuff. Yes. Pledge and join us and you get to be part of those. Ah, oh, so good. There you go. All right. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Apparently, we'll be back in, uh, what is that, like 22 hours? No, less than that. Anyway, whatever. With some Do fun map. stuff with a stampede. Can you make a stampede sound? Stampede. <laughs> Girl stampede. There you go. That's Take it. care, everybody. All right. Bye. <laughs> so, see, n n now it's even. Right? I beat you on one. Yes. You beat me. So that, I guess that means there's got to be a rubber match. So you know what we can do? What? Is when we get our copy of the game. Yeah. We actually do the third or fourth map. Of course. Two, third, and fourth. And then everybody else can have the first and second print and plays. Yes. That'll work out perfect. Woo.